Hey, what's going on guys? It's Trek YT here, or Nick, back with another episode of the Ventrix SMP. It's been a little while. I've had that little hiatus. You know, I had a little rough patch in my life, but it's pretty much over now. I've gotten, I'm pretty fine now. I'm pretty stable, I guess. I was never overly out unstable i guess but you know i'm back i took my little hiatus i think i'm good now so we're gonna go ahead in today's episode as you can see behind us this part over here looks really pretty but over here still looks crap so what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on this area today we're gonna start off making our little man cave type little dealio that we're gonna have going on in this series so what i'm first off i'm gonna do i'm move all this stuff over to that clearing over there so that way we can go ahead and start working on this so i'm gonna go ahead clear that away and i'll catch you guys afterwards so there we go guys it's all cleared up so what i'm thinking about for this area so i'm thinking right around here ish it starts to slowly go down and it's not going to be too deep because it's not going to be only cave our base because I do like the area that's over there and I do like what's over top of that mountain as well. So what I think is it'll be almost sort of like a tunnel system but it'll be like a cave. It'll have my main stuff in there, it'll have my storage system but over there could be like a farming slash I guess docking slash I don't know just boat district or whatever. And over there could just be something else, I don't know. I want to connect everything underground so I think that would be pretty cool especially with nice detailed looking organic caves that would be pretty cool in my mind. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to cue the time lapse. We're just going to start digging out, maybe TNT out a little bit of this area. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do, but once I start building, my mind's just going to start flowing and ideas are going to start coming. So I'll see you guys in the time lapse and we'll catch you guys afterwards. So you're probably looking at this and thinking, Trek, have you lost your mind? This does not look good. Well, you gotta think of it more as the shape of it. It's not done, I just wanted to get a rough shape. So basically my idea is I will eventually come back, texture all this, probably off camera or maybe in another episode or something like that, or live stream, I'm not exactly sure. But I'm gonna retexture this. I just only had cobblestone and dirt, so I couldn't really do too much prettying up. So I don't have time to grab any. But basically, just think of it like this: you come down here. There's probably gonna be some trees, foliage over there. This is all gonna be cleaned up. It's gonna be textured like a cave. And then you're gonna have your main entrance right here. 
And then this is where the whole like cave is going to start. And it's going to look awfully like, or not awfully, it's going to look an awful lot like an actual cave, just a lot bigger. And so what we're going to do now is I think we're going to step away from this. Since we don't have the time and the materials to go ahead and do that, I think we're going to go jump over to the nether tunnel and we're going to show you the progress that we have made and probably try to get a little bit more work done in that. So I'll meet you guys over in the nether. One thing that did happen off camera in between, I think it was during a live stream thing, is this thing got blown up. So in today's episode, we're gonna work on fixing this so we don't have to worry about this ladder because right now, um, I still have the tunnel that's down below that gets me to and from spawn because I haven't connected this part up here to the spawn, uh, I mean, or the nether I guess hub I guess so I've only gotten up here so what I think we're gonna do today is we're gonna purdy up this side um, if you can see way down here we actually haven't finished this whole tunnel we've only done this section and then a little bit of the other but that doesn't matter because we can go ahead and we can still work on the end of the other part so that'll be very very uh, I guess better now I don't I'm, my words are just off right now it's really late I'm recording really late but basically once we get these two things then we can use this tunnel for I guess from now on instead of having to use the tunnel down below even though it's not technically complete but it's getting there so I'll meet you guys over down at that end and we'll start our work on this tunnel so there we go we're over here so what I want to do for this is I want to have a drop down hatch type dealio and then I want to have in uh, like a thing that just the minecart thing where you click 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 and it brings you all the way up so what I do believe if I dig straight down right about here it should bring me to where my old tunnel is let's go ahead and test that theory I do have ladders on me. I don't know if I have enough let's see Hopefully this doesn't kill me. I, if I did my math right, this should take me straight to where the beginning of our nether portal or nether tunnel actually is. So please. Oh, wow. That was a far drop. So where does this actually bring us? Where are we? Is this the nether? This is. Wait, I may. Ha I did do it right. So it's just. Oh, okay. So how do I get down? Down here. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. So this is the nether tunnel. So if I were to go back in here and dig straight up, that's going to bring me through to there. Where does this lead me to? Boom. Where's the hole that I just dug? So it's over here is where I just dug. But I need to dig here. This is where I want it. So I need to be over one. So this is probably going to be where you do the up clicking thing. So it's going to be right here-ish. So we have from here to there is what we have to do for our nether tunnel so we have about from here to here we're probably just gonna go ahead and make it all quartz from until here so if this is our drop down hatch here we're gonna need at least this thick so this is where the other thing can be we'll leave space here and then this will be a wall right here will be a wall so this is gonna be a wall right here all the way like that and then there's gonna be a wall on this thing as well so I'm gonna head back to the base I'm gonna grab some materials so we can actually go ahead and do this whole thing up and then I'll meet you guys back over here so there we go guys we are back so I did do some discovering and it turns out I'm actually not gonna have to have a drop down hatch I can just use the exact same thing for my drop down hatch because I can just use the ladders to get down so basically what I'm doing right now is I'm just making this into what it looks like everywhere else in the hub it's nice and quartz and stuff I don't know I don't really like quartz too much but I just wanted to make it blend in with everything else that's going on in spawn already so it's not going to be too different in this part but I guess the portal or the hub part is I guess not that important because what really matters is my actual tunnel so I'm just gonna go ahead fill all this in with some quartz it's gonna be really really bright actually boom like this okay Let's fill in this floor real quick and then we can actually go ahead and get started with the actual building of the uh, like I guess elevator I don't know what you would call it Let's pick up that pick up the wrong stuff pick up the wrong stuff. there we go okay so there we go. So what we have to do is we have to go straight up from here. And so I'm going to have to dig out this part, this part, and this part all the way up because then I'm going to fill in all the blocks that I actually want there because I don't want to just have, uh, I guess, netherrack as my side block because, I don't know, it's just not as elegant. So I'm going to go ahead, dig out this whole thing, and start filling in the blocks. So I'll catch you guys then. So right now what I'm doing is I'm filling in, I guess, my filler block on the outside. It's just going to be some polished andesite because it's a nice neutral block. So basically what I have to do, 
So I have to build this all the way up to there, and then I have to come through back and then put in like a ladder like this, and then a minecart on top of it. So that's what's going to be basically my ladder, because then I can click one, click out of the other, and just go all the way up to the top. So I'm going to finish building this all the way up to the top, and I'll catch you guys when I'm starting to add in the minecarts. So there we go, guys. We got this hole, and I'm going to try not to fall down. So basically, it's a little off-center. But that's fine because that'll give us adjustments, I guess. So we'll put like the, the tunnel itself will end here and then we can make an actual little room right here. So that's fine. This is not really too big of a deal. We can go ahead and get to the bottom now because that's where we're going to start off with building this actual, I guess, elevator part. So I'll meet you guys down at the bottom. So here we go, guys. We are at the bottom. So basically what I have to do is I have to put a ladder here. And then I have to put like a rail right here and then a minecart on top of that. So let me jump up there. So basically what you do is you put a minecart. Oh, crap. So we're going to have to do it on this side, actually, because mine, the minecart track is being stupid. So basically you do go over here like this. Put your minecart down and then like or your minecart track like that. Block this in. Fix that up a little bit. Uh, let's actually let's go ahead. Let's break this. Boom. Fix that. And then let's see if we can't readjust it maybe. I don't know, it should work either way. So basically when we're sitting down here, let's get rid of all this stuff. We'll come up here and we like boom, and then if there's another one above it, we can click into that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all of these because it's kinda dark and kinda tedious. So I'm gonna finish doing all these and I'll catch you guys back when we have a fully functional elevator. So there we go guys, we went ahead and we got this thing finally finished. I had to do some little off screen mining because I actually didn't have enough iron. I have all my iron blocks inside of my beacon base type thing for the beacon beam. So now that this is finished and I went and grabbed the rest of iron, let's jump down here and show you how you get down. So basically you just go like that and it catches you every four blocks on one of these ladders that's holding up one of these mine carts. So it's pretty nice, pretty fast and easy to get all the way down and then you get all the way down to the bottom like this and you're in the nether hub. And then if you want to go back up, you just go click, 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 click all the way back up to the top, which is pretty simple. It's just a little quick way of getting back and forth. And so in between episodes, I'm going to try to finish that rest of the nether tunnel up to closer to here. And then in next episode, hopefully we can do something with this area, pretty it up a little bit more. And then as well as the other side that touches our nether portal. So next, what I think we're going to do is we're going to head back to the base. And I actually have started to gather some blocks. And I think I have enough to just pretty up that little entrance space that I started off by just doing with cobblestone. I think that is probably how we're gonna finish off the episode. We're gonna do some actual base work now that I have time This is the next day I recorded everything you've seen before this in the previous day And now it's the next day. I've had some time off camera to collect some resources So I think we're gonna head over to the base We're gonna start doing some base work because now that we have the materials So I'll catch you guys over there. So over here I got all the stuff that we probably will need for this so my idea is we did make all this look really, really nice over here. We put some trees up here to make it a little bit more blend in and then have some root systems coming down this way. Maybe have like a tree right here that goes all the way up like that. Maybe not as big as these trees over here, just like some smaller root systems. Put some foliage around the outside, make it all really nice. Probably add a path from here all the way over to there and then Hopefully, if we have time, we will work on a little storage system down in there. So let's go ahead and grab some blocks. I'm going to do a little bit with you, just so you guys know what the process is. So what I do as I start off, I just grab some stone, some dirt, and some basic blocks that are going to give me that texturizing stuff that I really want to do. Let's go like that. Okay. So first things first. This looks like we're trying to transfer into a cave. So what I want to do is I want to slowly wither in some... Uh, uh, stone that's what I want to weather in so let's first off by cleaning up this area over here Let's go ahead take out all this cobblestone that we added previously that we're just marking off a little bit of giving me the shape So let's take out all this because it looks kind of ugly it exposes some stuff that we don't really want to expose But that's fine. Let's actually switch this out for a shovel So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add stone probably closer towards the bottom area add some dirt like that Maybe something like that and so that way I'm just getting sort of a shape. I really don't want any of this stuff around because it kind of looks kind of gross. So let's go ahead, fill this in with dirt because it'll turn over. Let's go ahead and take this out. We'll add a little bit more shape to it. So we're going to have, bring this out like this. Let's add some stone here. Turn this into a stone, but then we'll just put that there. Put this on top like so. And then we're going to turn this stuff down here let's get rid of this just because i want to free up my inventory a little bit more so we're going to do so we're going to fill all this part in with stone let's take out this stupid diorite because diorite looks kind of gross 
turn this into this type of block. Let's turn this into that. This as well. And all this will eventually be more texturized at the end because we're going to come back in with some flowers and stuff like that to make it look a little bit more pretty. So let's put all this like that, turn that into that. It's pretty good. So right here is probably where some trees and stuff are going to go. So that'll, that'll be fine. We can turn that in a little bit. So now this looks a little bit more natural, if you can tell. It kind of looks like generated terrain. We can bring this, turn this into some stone as well. So this now looks a little bit more like generated terrain, naturally generated terrain is what I'm trying to say. So that looks a little bit better. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to continue doing this all the way over and all the way around. I'm going to do probably at least one more clip while doing this just so I can show you the progress. But for the majority of it, I'm going to do it off camera because it takes a lot of thinking and I'm not good at talking and thinking and building. So I'll catch you guys when I catch you. So all I've done so far other than that is I've turned all of this into uh, dirt slash grass, which will all eventually turn into grass. But this is what I've done so far. And now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to do this little area. So what I do for when I do stuff like this is I can see that there's way too much dirt here to make it more realistic because if you think of of how layers work in I guess rock formations is the stone is normally on the bottom and that's always above dirt so dirt is gonna be at your most highest point so you want to mix in some stones at the bottom and so when I'm placing all this stone I will definitely go back and texturize it more with some andesite and other stone related things but just to get the shape this is what I'm gonna do at first and as you can see right here this is a perfect example of two much um, dirt. So let me quickly fix that. So you can see there's a lot of dirt right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave at least two blocks or so before grass. So there's going to be two here. And then I'm just going to make this sort of staircase type pattern, which blends really, really well if you just throw stone like that. As well as right here, we want to keep things really, I guess, touching each other, I guess. I don't want it to make just out of, I don't know how to explain that. So basically, basically what I was trying to say is that if there was a dirt block here and then stone here, it would look weird because it would just be, I don't know, it would just look kind of weird. So I want to keep it sort of like a staircase all the way around, just kind of like peaks up and down like that. I don't want to have like stone way up there and then dirt below it because it just kind of looks weird because that's not how I'm doing the texturizing. That could work in some instances, but in the way that I'm doing it currently, it won't work. And as you can see, this little cliff right here kind of looks really ugly. We can do a little bit of this just to clean it up a little bit more, add a little bit more detail to it. But I think what we're eventually going to do is this is where a root system is going to hang over. So it doesn't really matter too much for us to clean it up too much right now because it's definitely going to be changed in the future. Another perfect example of this whole like stone dirt thing that looks weird is that looks really weird. And now this is going to look weird. So we just got to build like a little staircase like this, fill in this block. That looks a little bit better. Definitely going to go back with some foliage and stuff afterwards to clean all that up a little bit more. But for right now, it looks fine. So I'm going to continue doing this and I'll catch you guys back. So there we go, guys. We did end up finishing all of this area. So what I think is going to be next is we're going to start out up top. We're going to throw down some, I guess, trees just to sh get something little... I guess base, I guess starter going on. We're just going to throw down some random generated trees because I don't want to get too fancy yet. And eventually we'll build off this root system or we'll turn these into, I guess, a root system sort of. So it looks a lot better. I just want to fill some empty space just because it looks kind of empty right now. And if I add this, it'll add just a little bit more characteristic to the area. Wow. I thought that was a big one. So I'm just adding random trees all the way around and I'm going to add a couple more and then we'll take a look down below what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and add some over there actually because that looks like a pretty empty area. So now that I'm adding these trees, it's going to make everything look a little bit more like it was naturally here. And I didn't mean to put that down, but whatever, that's fine. Put a couple trees here, maybe one here, and then like one here, and then maybe one up on top of this hill. And then I got to do my OCD thing. Boom. <laughs> So there we go. Now it looks a little bit more like it's meant to be, especially with this tree right here, which I really like. I'm kind of glad that it generated like that because that's a perfect looking tree to, to turn into a root system. So I think we're going to do like a sort of a custom built tree right here. Let me go up here actually. Where is some dirt? I want to put the stem of the tree right here. This is where I want this part. I hope it doesn't grow into one of those massive trees. Uh, more bone meal. There we go. So it's not one of those master trees. Good. So we've got that right here. So we can go ahead and take it down what's below it. Then we can do something like this. Make it kind of flow with the current terrain that we already have like that. 
this is going to look weird if we don't oh, I can't get up there. If we don't put this like this. So now that it looks a little bit more organic, um we can add at least something like that. That just adds a little bit more. I need to find my way up here. Okay, we need to break out this block and that block and then we can do something like that. Now, we can go back afterwards. We can fill all this in with some leaves just to add a little bit. Actually, we do have some leaves on us now. So we're going to turn it into more of a rounded shape rather than a naturally square generated tree looking shape. So something like that will do. You're not going to see too much up here because I don't really think I'll go up here very often. Oop, a little lag like that. So fill all this in. It doesn't have to be overly detailed and overly big. Go like that. Let's get up here. Add a little bit more details. See, it's very, very boxy. So I'm trying to take away the boxiness as much as I possibly can because, I don't know, it just, it, it, I don't know, it just doesn't look good that way. So add some leaves down there, here, here, maybe go like this. And now, I think now that we have all this rounded off area, it's going to look a lot better from now down below. So let's go ahead, put a couple more here and there. Let's put one. No, that looked kind of weird. Actually, we do that, and then we can break this away. So I think this is going to look good. We did. Yep, that should look good. Let's go ahead and take this down, and let's go see what it looks like down below. Uh, that looks kind of weird. Um, we should add some leaves down here, actually, because it looks kind of weird. So let's go uh, up like that. Uh, okay. Now, how does that look? So if we add all this into a ball as well, that could look a lot better. And some different logs coming off probably where is our logs get some of that maybe make a log come off here like so fill all this in because it kind of looked weird that looks a little bit better let's add something there as well let's build up like this fill all this in if we can reach it boom boom like that break that break that fill all that in fill all this in now this shape is looking a little bit better. It doesn't look as weird because this is really long. So we can actually do something like this maybe. Maybe put some coarse dirt in there. Add some more foliage or something in there. Let's go like this. Boom. Let's see how does that look. Take away this dirt tower real quick. Like that. Okay. That looks a little bit better. We can add some more stuff over there. So this now looks a lot better than it did before. Let's go ahead. Where's our bone meal? I'm just going to do a quick little bone meal just to add a little bit more grass around this area. This looks kind of weird, actually. So let's take that away. Let's get our other leaves in here. Put some varying leaves around here. Let's get our other leaves to add some other characteristic to it like that. Uh, let's put one of these up there like that. And now we can go back and we can add all these other blocks. So I think a good spot for one of these dead bushes would be here. Um, we didn't actually, do we have our clay on us? I want to get that clay incorporated as well. So let's grab our clay from over in this chest. Hopefully we still have some. We do. Good, good, good. Okay. Now we can go ahead and we can add some more detail to it. So where does it look like it needs detail? It looks like it could use some loving over there. So let's go actually put a leaf block here. Not right there. I want it up in there. And then I want to throw one of these flowers up there. So now that's getting dark out, I can tell it's going to need a light source around here soon. So what would be a good spot for a light source? I think right here could be a good spot. So if we go like this, take this out. Where's our glowstone? Let's grab our glowstone, add it like that. And now we can actually add a little like dead bush almost right here. So it's something like that. Add a little bit of terrain like this then we can add a bunch of leaves all around it like that put another one here grab our birch leaves so we can get varying leaves in there this actually shouldn't be a clay block because I want to put something in front of it like this just to hide that away a little bit more let's take away that and we will add another dead coarse dirt thing here like so now that lives up a little bit, I want a little bit of light over here as well. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to put some glowstone inside the tree. That's another idea that you can do for little hidden light sources. It lights up your whole tree. So I want to shove it like way back there, like there. 
and then I'm going to cover this all back in with oak leaves so it's kind of hidden. So now that should lighten up the area a little bit more. That does. Good, good. So uh, over here looks also kind of weird. Let's take this out, this out, and this out. And now let's grab our dirt and just put it here. And then where are some different colored leaves and stuff? Not leaves, I meant flowers. So there, um, this looks kind of weird, this flower. I don't think I had it in my other previous side, so that's probably why it looks weird. Um, we should add some clay in here as well, just to add a little bit more varying stuff in here. Uh, this could be a clay block right here, actually. So that doesn't look half bad. I want to add one red flower somewhere in this area. Maybe I'll change this. I'll take this out, put the clay block below it, put the grass on top of it, and then it like that. And then let's grab some oak, and let's put it here, like that. There we go. Okay. So now let's take a look back at it. So that looks pretty good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to finish up doing probably like half of it and I'll catch you back in a little bit. I have to go gather some more resources. I'm going to sleep the night because I'm the only one on here. I'm going to fix up this a little bit more. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to do a lot more of this in this area. So I'm going to do to like here-ish or something and then I'll finish this last part up with you guys. So I'll catch you guys back in a little bit. So there we go. We, I decided to just finish it all off on my own. There's still a little bit that could be done. Like I could go ahead and I could take some of this iron ore. And I could feel like this place right here is a little bit empty. So I could just go ahead fill this in like that and just add a little bit more detail. But for the most part, this place looks pretty good in my opinion. I don't really see too many spots that are a little too blank. Like over here could possibly turn into one of these dead bushes just because it looks like it could even, oh, not like that, like this. It looks like it could go right there. I mean, that looks pretty good in my opinion. I think that a lot of this area looks really good because it kind of looks like over there as well. So I think that these two kind of flow right together. And I did add this one tree right here because I felt like this area was a little off and kind of just looked weird. So basically what happens is you go like this, you walk over here, and then it's boom. It just kind of opened and really grand. So down here is where the actual thing is going to begin. I'm not going to start that this episode just because I want to do that in a future episode. Probably next episode we'll work on the storage system and then work on the nether tunnel and finishing that up. But I think right now is what we're going to do is we're going to go to spawn. Check out some of the new stuff that's been put in. I think there's a lot of new stuff that I've missed over the past two weeks. So I'm going to head over there. I'll meet you guys over there. Hey guys, I just want to apologize really quick. So I said I was going to go to spawn, but I did record a bunch of stuff. But for some reason, I somehow muted my mic somehow. I'm not exactly sure how I did that. I guess I must have hit some uh, hotkey or something. But all the clips that I recorded for this, like I guess it was like another 10 minutes that was going to be in the episode, was not... I guess had no sound so you couldn't hear me I don't know why that happened but um, I just want to let you guys know that's why so what we did do in that little bit we did walk around spawn a little bit and I went and got some levels and I went and got this I got this uh, punch one and flame one I added that to this bow and then I got this new diamond shovel so that way I can mine gravel without fortune three so I just want to explain that really quick I apologize for that happening I'm not exactly sure so I guess in a future episode we will show off spawn a little bit more like I promised so uh, this is gonna this is gonna jump right to the end of the video so I guess I'll see you guys there so I'm back at the base look how much quartz we actually have so I think when we do make our shop we're gonna sell it for at least the gold block per stack because it takes a while to get some quartz it takes at least the mining of at least four snacks of just the ore of the um, quartz. So depending on if I have my fortune on, even then it does sometimes only give me one. So I think we will end up selling that for a price of one gold block per stack because a one stack of quartz can go a long way because most times you're just using it to outline things. You're not using it to make your whole thing. So... I think this is where we're going to end off the episode. This actually turned out really good. I'm really glad. Like, if you go back to the beginning of the video and look what we were doing in the time lapse to now, huge changes. So it's just, it looks really good now and I'm really happy. I think we may have to do something right there. It just looks a little weird. Or we may just leave it. I don't really know. We'll see what happens in the future episodes. So if you guys did enjoy today's episode, definitely drop a like on this video. And videos will be coming back to normal now that I have been back from my little hiatus. So... I hope you guys are happy about that, and I'm kind of happy about that. I'm psyched. I have a lot of ideas written down that I'm going to go ahead and execute. Here in the coming weeks, I will eventually get that uh, blocks combo video out that you guys have been requesting. I have not started on it because of what happened the previous week, but 
eventually we'll get that done. Hopefully that video can be out in the next two weeks. I'm not exactly sure when I'm going to do it. I have other videos that I might prior prioritize above that video just because they're like hot in my mind and I really want to get them done. So that's enough ranting. As always, guys, I love you all. See you guys later. Peace out.